Chaplin and as part of the DevSecOps Delivered series, I am going to show you how to integrate the Nexus IQ server with Jenkins. First, on the left, I'm going to go to Manage Jenkins. First thing I'll need to do is download the plugin. I already have done this, but the one that you're looking for is called the Nexus Platform plugin. Once this is downloaded, you're going to need to configure it. So if I go to Configure System, you can see here the Sonotype Nexus section. So Nexus IQ Server will take two parameters, server URL, which is localhost 8070, and the credentials. You can also test the connection so you can see my connection has succeeded. Once you've downloaded and configured your plugin, next let's configure a job. So if I go to an example I have here, here I have a staging build. So once I've finished building, I've got a Maven goal. Then I'm going to invoke the Nexus policy evaluation. So all we are is a bit simple build step. And it takes two parameters. So you can choose your stage. You may have different actions based on what stage you're at. So maybe build, you warn, stage release, you fail. And then you can select the application. So this is to do with policy logic. Say, for example, maybe your Ruby app, that's an internal developer app. Then you will need to select your application. So this is to do with the policy logic. For example, Ruby app, that might be an internal app. So just use between developers. So maybe you might be able to be a bit more relaxed. However, your web services, that might be a distributed application. So it will have more attack vectors and you've got to be a lot more careful with licenses. Once I save, I'm going to go back and I'm going to run this build. Now I'm going to run the build. Let's look what's happening in the build. So you can see it's going to my GitHub. It's building, starting tests, and then build success. So then Nexus IQ scan kicks in. So I'm starting to scan the jar that I've just built. And you can see going through scanning individual components. So once I finish scanning, finished failure. So why has this happened? Nexus IQ reports for policy failing due to policy security high. So these are policies that my company has set. This one, for example, is having a severity between 7 and 10. So that's the CVSS score, Common Vulnerability Scoring System. Console log isn't always the friendliest output. So when I click here, I go straight to my IQ server and here I have a bill of material reports with my summary page with information about the components identified and different alerts. A page with all my policy alerts where I can click on and get enriched metadata about the component, including a histogram with version history, security issues and licensing issues as well. So this is how you can configure Nexus IQ server with your CI tool such as Jenkins.